Hi, my name is Bjorn and this is a Maya Python rigging tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to write a script that can constrain any object to a polygonal surface. I like to call this the follicle connect script. You can for instance use it to constrain buttons to a code. And by using follicles to constrain the objects, they're not going to rotate in weird ways when the geometry is deforming. First off, let's start out by importing the Maya commands as cmds. We want to constrain the locator to the geometry, so let's put it in a list. I'm going to use the list command to list the selected objects. So first, let's select the locator and then the geometry and run the script. Now it's time to calculate the position of the locator relative to the geometry. So we're going to need to create a node called closest point on mesh. We need to connect the out mesh of our geometry from our list to the closest point on mesh nodes in mesh. Now this can be a big mouthful, but just take a look at line 7 and see what I've written. Once that's done, we need to find the coordinates of the locator. To do this we need to query the transform of the first element of the list, our locator. Once we've defined our variable x, which gives us three values x, y and z coordinates, we can put them into the in position of our closest point on mesh node. Now the variable x that we defined through the xform command contains a list with three elements in it, the x, y and z coordinates of the locator. We need to input these coordinates into the closest point on mesh node, so let's do that through the set attribute command. I'm using closest plus dot in position x, and I'm inputting the first element of the list that contains the x, y, and z coordinates. So x brackets 0 will give us the first element of the list, which is the x coordinates of the locator. Remember the x variable is not in any way related to the x translations, the x variable simply contains the translates of the locator. So by writing x brackets 0, I'm grabbing the first element of the list, which happens to be the translate x values of the locator. In line 10 I'm setting the attribute in position y of the closest point on mesh node, and I'm using x brackets 1, so the variable x and the second element in the list, which is the y translations that we queried from the locator's position. Now it's time to create the follicle using the create node command. Now the follicle variable is just containing the follicle shape, and we're going to need the follicle transform, so I'm going to create another variable called follicle trans, and I'm going to set it equal to list relatives, the transform and the parent of the follicle, so the follicle shape. This is going to get us the follicle transform and not the follicle shape. Now we need to connect the out rotate of the follicle shape to the rotate of the follicle transform. We're not done connecting yet. We also need to connect the world matrix of the geometry. To the input world matrix of the follicle shape. In addition to that we need to connect the out mesh of the geometry to the input mesh of the follicle shape. Let's turn off simulation calculations for the follicle.
Now with everything connected up, we can get the U and V coordinate outputs of the closest point on mesh node. With the U and V coordinates, we can specify where on the mesh the follicle should be placed, so if your geometry is not UV mapped, this script is not going to work. Now that we have the U and V coordinates from our closest point on mesh node, we can enter those values into the follicle shapes parameter U and parameter V. At this point, the follicle should be placed on the closest point possible to our locator. Now all we need to do is constrain our locator to the transform of the follicle. And also, let's delete the closest point on mesh node, since we don't need it anymore. Now you may notice that the follicle that I just created is not placed exactly on top of the locator. That is because the geometry that I'm using does not have zeroed out transforms, rotations and scale. Make sure you freeze the transforms of the geometry before you run the script. If it has values in the translate, rotations or scale, then the follicle is not going to be placed correctly. You also need to have the geometry UV mapped, since the follicle is being placed based on the U and V coordinates. This information of course is superfluous, since no one would ever rig anything, unless the transforms had been zeroed out. But notice whatever I do to this polyplane, the locator stays in the exact position that it's supposed to. It does not rotate, it simply stays at the point that we specified. That's why this is a useful script. Connect anything you want, for instance buttons on a coat, just run the script. That concludes my second Maya Python scripting tutorial, and if you're interested in more tutorials, don't forget to visit my homepage blobbyrb.com. I'm also going to go through how to script an auto rig for quadruped, so stay tuned!